Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Britches and I am back with another What Sold video. And so this What Sold video is for the period of September 18th through September 28th, so 10 day period. Sales are up. Um, now that we are entering into Q4, I'm hoping they go up even more. I'm still not hitting my sweet spot, but I'm hoping that within the next couple of weeks that things pick up since October 1st has officially started Q4 anyway. All right, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller, full-time school counselor, and I have an eBay store with my sister Karen, who's a full-time kindergarten teacher and a part-time reseller. And we troll yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores looking for undervalued merchandise that we can flip for a profit on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. So if you like thrifting content, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, all of those things help us out tremendously. Okay guys, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start out with my eBay sales and unless otherwise indicated, all of my sales include the buyer paying shipping. Okay, so first up is the last of the Drunk Elephant um, facial products that Cameron picked up at a yard sale for a dollar a piece. This one was a facial oil. It was um, new in the package and she grabbed it, like I said, for a dollar and it sold for $11.99. These 17 Faith Martin murder books, um, Karen and I picked up at a churchyard sale and they are faith-based, I believe. I think they're inspirational. And we had 17, we actually had the whole set and somehow in between loading them up at the yard sale and getting them to our car, we dropped one of them. So that sucks. But nonetheless, it's still sold for a good bit. We paid only $5 for the entire set and we sold the whole set for $50. This American Eagle Soft and Sexy t-shirt in a size medium, we grabbed at Goodwill for $2.99 because it was on um, half price day, so it would have been $5.99. Um, and we flipped it for $8. So I think I've already mentioned this like about 100 times, but I'm not picking up American Eagle Soft and Sexy anymore. It just doesn't go, it sits forever, and then it when it finally goes, it goes for less than $10. <laughs> Forget it. Okay, I grabbed this Mario Kart car with an action figure that is vintage. It's from, well, no, it, it might not be vintage. I think it might be 2004, so just under vintage. Um, but I grabbed this at an estate sale for only a quarter, and it sold for $3. I took an offer of $3 on it. I got this probably nine months ago. I mean, it's been a hot minute since I picked it up. And to be honest with you, if I were to go to the same estate sale today, I definitely would not pick it up. Okay, I grabbed this, and I can't say the name, Tignanello. Tignanello red leather purse. I grabbed this based on style and also on the feel of it. When I um, picked it up at a yard sale, it felt really smooth and buttery. And even though I wasn't familiar with the brand, I figured I would take a chance on it because it was real leather. So um, I paid only $2 for it at that yard sale and it sold for $25. It sat around for a while. It's definitely been listed for a couple of months, but I would still pick that up in a heartbeat. Okay, I grabbed this Lane Bryant size 22 to 24 um, tunic for $5.99 at Goodwill. It was not a half price color and it sold for $10. Dollars, And so this is why I don't go to Goodwill, especially during yard sale season. Okay, I listed this logo extra logo by Lori Goldstein extra large tunic in fall colors and I listed it and within 12 hours it had sold. So I paid $5.99 for it at Goodwill and I took an offer of $18.44 for it. I think I had it listed for $22 and because the offer came so quick, I was like, yeah, let's just get rid of it because I had three more that I listed the same night. Not the exact same pattern, but two of them were an extra large also and they were all tunics in the same styles. Okay, I picked up this Southern Marsh Sherpa, Sherpa Deep Pile hoodie. And I really got it for my daughter. I grabbed it at a yard sale for $3 and she took it, she loved it, loved it, and then she never wore it. So she gave it back to me and I listed it and it sold for $18. I have been picking up Dandy plush because Shell Bell has recommended Dandy. She said, oh, they just have a great sell through rate. Well, I picked up like three or four of them right in a row and they weren't doing squat for me. 
but out of nowhere I sold two of them so there's one in this um, what sold video and then the next one coming up is gonna have another one so this one is the 17 inch polar bear I grabbed him at an estate sale for only a dollar and he sold for $15 Next is this pair of Athleta um, herringbone zippered leggings. They are in a girl's size 14. We picked them up at Goodwill for $2.99 and they sold for $14. Girls Athleta doesn't really sell as well as the adult Athleta, for me anyway. Um, I have a couple of other pieces that are girls Athleta and it's just sitting there, so I don't know that I'll pick those up in the future. This Z Gallery frame I grabbed at a yard sale, and I want to say it was either the end of yard selling season last fall, or it was the very beginning this season. So I paid only a dollar for it at a yard sale, and I took an offer of ten dollars for it. Okay, this next item is interesting because I got this from my mom, so there's zero cost of goods, which is a good thing, and it's a small Corningware um, saucepan. And so um, it's been listed for a hot minute. I listed it um, right when I got home from the Jersey Shore this summer because that's when my mother gave it to me. So it's been listed since July, and um, it really hasn't gotten a lot of action. And so I got this offer from this lady, but she was concerned about um, the shipping. She wanted me to, she said she didn't care how I shipped it as long as I got it down low enough to ship it first class. Well, I got the um, email requesting that when I was at work and I was thinking in my head, oh God, it's so small. It's so tiny. There's no way I can't ship it for 15 ounces. There's just no way. So I said, sure, do it. Go right ahead. Um, she goes, I'll just pay the regular shipping because you know how eBay is. You can't change your shipping once a certain point has passed. And so I told her, you know what, just take um, whatever the shipping is and back it out and then whatever it takes to pay $10. So that's what she did. And so she ended up sending me an offer of $1.76, understanding that she was going to ship it first class. I was wrong. I was way off, way off. It was well over one pound. There was no way in God's green earth I could get it to ship for $4.50. And so I just had to eat it. I sent it in a priority flat rate padded envelope. And so um, I figured Corningware is super hardy, so it's gonna do fine. And it did, it ended up getting there in one piece. And um, the buyer was so kind because she felt bad that I had ended up spending so much on shipping that I was literally profiting 35 cents. After eBay's, you know how eBay takes their fee based, even on shipping. So I was literally going to earn 35 cents for having shipped that saucepan. And so she very kindly PayPal'd me another $3 just to make up the difference. So I really don't think I did very well with this. And that is just a lesson to me to not do things like that, to not guesstimate what the weight is when I'm at work. Go home and put the thing on the scale and do it that way. Because otherwise you just end up eating into your profits tremendously. So shout out to Tara and thank you for being such a kind and awesome buyer. Moving on is this Columbia Omnishield pair of pants. They are in a size 12 solid black. I picked these up at a yard sale several weeks ago for 50 cents. I couldn't figure out why they were only 50 cents and then I looked at the seat and the seat was really, really tremendously overwhelmed with pilling. I just took my sweater shaver to it and I was able to get most of it off. And I noted in the description that there was a lot of pilling and it sold, so I was totally happy with that. Lily is not helping. Okay, next is this Factoria Perez alpaca, 100% alpaca wool poncho. This has been listed since last fall. It is in a size small, beautiful, with this Aztec design on it, um, but it's just sat around. We had picked this up at the Salvation Army for $2.99 and it sold for $25. However, it's on its way back to me because it did not fit. So this is one of the few items that I guess I just brain farted and didn't put any of the measurements in. And so she said it's just too small for her, so I accepted it back. Okay, and the last item for this period that sold on eBay is this Victoria's Secrets Heavenly Perfume Sample. It is a quarter of an ounce, and I picked it up last weekend at an estate sale for 25 cents and it sold for $17. So I have been watching a lot of Shell Bill and Shell Bill buys all of this used perfume and vintage perfume, even if there's like less than half in the bottle and it's doing really well. And so I just ran a quick comp at the estate sale and lo and behold, it was worth something, it was retired 
And so that just drives up the desirability. So really, really highly recommend taking the time. If you're at an estate sale or even a yard sale, if you see any used perfume that you take the time to just run a quick comp and see if it's worth anything, especially Bath and Body Works, all of those retired scents, they sell. So it's definitely worth taking the time to do that. Okay, moving on to my Poshmark sales. This um, first item is a cabbie court jacket. It's a cropped jacket in a size 10 and it was brand new with tags. This has been listed a hot minute. We grabbed this at Goodwill for $5.99 last fall and it's been listed since about December and I finally took an offer on it of $24. Next are these men's Nike joggers. I grabbed these about a month and a half ago at a yard sale for only a dollar. They are in a size large. I um, watched Thrift Nice with Carly and Carly always suggests picking up Nike joggers, especially for men. And so I saw them and I just grabbed them because they were so cheap and lo and behold, they sold. They have not been listed very long. And um, like I said, I paid a dollar and they sold for $22. This um, plaid shirt is by Velvet by Graham and Spencer. It is in a size large, really soft, um, I want to say fleece, but it's really thin. So it's perfect for an Alabama winter because it's long sleeve, but it's not like super hot because a lot of times in Alabama, we start out at 30 degrees and then we're in the 60s by lunchtime. So you have to have some flexible long sleeve clothing. So this is perfect for that. I grabbed it at a yard sale for only two bucks and it sold for $22. And it was only listed for two weeks before it sold. Uh, I bought this shrug at the exact same yard sale. So this has also only been listed for two weeks. It is a high, it is called High Use by Claire Campbell not a brand that I am familiar with at all. However, it is definitely a bolo. This got a lot of attention right away and sold fairly quickly. This was in a size medium. I also paid $2 for this, and this one sold for $35. I grabbed this Old Navy dress, which was in a girl's size 14, um, girl's extra large. It was a black polka dot, new with tags. And so I paid only a dollar for it at a yard sale. In fact, I think I paid less than a dollar because it was that yard sale where I just bought a ton of clothes. And so I was just, I'm just gonna be conservative and say it was a dollar, but it was probably more like 50 to 75 cents. Um, anyway, it sold for $9. I um, picked up these men's academics work boots at Goodwill for $5.99 last winter, probably before Christmas, but right around before Christmas. And so I got them listed in either late December or early January. Um, and they have sat around, I can't remember what size they were, but I'll flash it up there. And so I finally took an offer of $15 on them. The last thing that sold on Poshmark during this period for me was this Field and Stream puffy vest. It was in a nice size navy, and I grabbed it at a yard sale for only $3, and it sold for $18. And that's not been listed long, not longer than a month. During this period, I only sold one item on Macari, and that was this Christian Dior perfume. And I grabbed this also at the estate sale last weekend and it sold for $34. I wanna say I had it listed for 45 and I accepted an offer of 34 just because the offer came in so quickly and I was just happy to move it on out. So I sold a total of 24 items for which I paid $62.18, which makes my average cost of goods for this period $2.59. All of those items sold for a total of $446.19. And when you back out fees of $89.24, as well as the cost of goods, that leaves us with a profit for the, that 10 day period of $294.77. So it's not hitting my sweet spot of $400. However, it is also right before Q4 um, kicks in. I can already tell you I'm filming this on October 3rd and I have um, already seen such an increase in sales over the last four days. Like I have probably been selling about four items a day, which is high for me doing it only part-time. Okay guys, that is everything for this What's Old video. As always, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do all the things that help us out in the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, remember it's not cheap, it's thrifty. Bye guys.